we're going to walk through uh, the installation instructions for the ultra sleeve. Uh, the ultra sleeve is a wide range product uh, and may be used on most pipe diameters within uh, nominal range. Uh, the first thing we're going to go over is preparing the pipe surface. Prepare the pipe surface, make sure that it's clean of all rust or dirt or debris or scale. Verify that the sleeve is the proper diameter uh, for the pipe uh, with that it's going to be installed on. To help us with that, we can use a pipe diameter tape. Once you verify the pipe OD, uh, which today we're going to be installing the product on a 4.8 inch ductile iron pipe diameter uh, HDPE pipe. Verify that the pipe uh, to be repaired has the structural integrity uh, to withstand uh, the forces from the product. Uh, for older uh, pit cast pipe um, or cast pipe, you might see some raised lettering on the pipe surface. If that's the case, just have it ground down or removed because that could interfere with the gasket sealing on the pipe. All right, next we're going to go over preparing the end gasket uh, for the proper pipe OD. Uh, the end gasket that is provided with this product comes with a removable inner layer which allows the product uh, to seal on a wide range of pipe diameters. The gasket right out of the box has it already installed. Look at the product label on the product to find out what range of pipe diameters the lower range with the inner layer installed uh, is seals on. All of our uh, gaskets um, come with this same inner layer. The eight inch gasket comes with one that looks a little bit different, it has a little bit of a uh, tongue right on it. If the gasket is needed for the upper range, we have to remove the inner layer. Go ahead and remove it completely all the way out. These little alignment spokes may or may not be removed with the gasket. If they are removed, it, that's okay. They may be stuck inside these little alignment spoke holes, and that is okay. It won't affect performance of the product at all. But once the inner layer is removed from the gasket, uh, it can no longer be uh, put back into the gasket. Okay, next up we're gonna start preparing uh, the ultra sleeve shell uh, for installation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate how to lubricate uh, the shell itself. For all of our uh, installations, regardless of the pipe type, um, we're gonna apply pipe weight lubricant to the glands. Hold the head in. And get thoroughly inside of all the glands where the gasket goes. On the shells, do not be afraid to use too much of the pipe joint lubricant. The lubricant is very important in these shell glands uh, to allow the gasket to move appropriately uh, because of the wide range capability of the product. Go ahead and apply some pipe joint lubricant to the side gasket. That'll help that seal. You want to make sure you have it on the bottom surface, the top surface, and the back surface as well. All right, now we're going to prepare the gasket uh, for installation. Uh, and there are different lubrication requirements depending on the pipe type uh, that it's going to be installed on. We can install our gasket on basically two types of pipe, uh, rough wall pipe or smooth wall pipe. Uh, your rough wall pipes might be AC pipe, ductile iron pipe, or pit cast pipe. Your smooth wall pipes could be PVC, HDPE, or even steel pipe. For rough wall pipe only, we recommend applying pipe joint lubricant on the gasket itself and on the pipe surface. So for rough wall pipe, just apply it all over the inside diameter, all over the outside diameter. Pipe joint lubricant, you, you won't use too much when you're on rough wall pipe. In addition, we need to make sure we apply the pipe joint lubricant to the pipe surface itself. Okay, now we're gonna get ready uh, to prepare the end gasket for installation on a smooth wall pipe. Right here we have uh, an HDPE pipe uh, that's 4.8 in diameter, your ductile iron uh, pipe size. So we've got our four inch gasket here. We're gonna leave the inner layer in with, because the 4.8 inch OD is uh, part of the inner layer range of the product. For smooth wall pipe, we're gonna take soapy water and, and spray the entire gasket with, with it. Uh, we're not gonna use pipe joint lubricant for smooth wall applications. So we're gonna take the gasket and spray it all, uh, all down with soapy water inside, outside, and then we'll also spray uh, the pipe itself with it. So go ahead and get the pipe sprayed up with the soapy water. Now that you got the pipe all lubricated with the soapy water, we're gonna take our end gasket and just wrap it around the pipe. You have your split here. You want your split to be facing downward towards the ground. And if you look at the gasket, there are words embedded on the gasket that say outside. That, that wording needs to be facing outside or away from the belly of the sleeve. Right on the pipe just like that. And put the other one on there just like that, okay? 
So now we're ready to go ahead and start getting the shelves installed on the pipe. So what we do next is we're going to take the top shell, which doesn't really matter, they're both the same, and we're going to lo lower it right on top. You want to make sure that the gaskets are seated properly inside the gland. Now we're going to go ahead and get uh, a starter bolt dropped in. All of them come with longer starter bolts and each product has four starter bolts assembled on the product in the box. Um, when you're installing them in the field, you may or may not need all four of them to install and get it going. See here we're only going to use two starter bolts to, to get the product going and then we'll install the rest in a minute. And then we're going to take our shell and we're going to line up the yellow marking that we have marked on the shell and make sure that they're lined up together. This made in yellow marking is on this end, so we're going to make sure it's down there. So now we've got your starter bolt in and all we have to do is take it and draw it up. When you install the starter bolts, it does not matter which direction you put the bolt, whatever is easiest and most convenient for the field installation. You just use an impact driver. Notice as he's drawing it up, he's making sure that the gasket is seating in the gland properly. You can, you can definitely tell if it, if it doesn't, it can kick out, which can cause issues during installation. So it's, very, so it's very important to make sure the gasket is seated properly inside the gland. Once we draw it up with the starter bolts, we can go ahead and begin installing the rest of the bolts. All right. You can see now that all the bolts have been uh, driven as high as they could uh, by hand. And so now we, you need to take a torque wrench um, and begin tightening the bolts to the specified torque on the product label. We recommend using a calibrated torque wrench. Set your torque wrench and go ahead and begin tightening from the middle outward in a crisscross pattern. And we'll demonstrate here. Once you reach uh, the required torque on all the bolts, the gaps between the top shells, um, they may or may not go metal bound. The important thing is that you hit the required torque on the product. Okay, one of the things I wanna show you guys is just a close-up view of the product and how it looks once it's installed at torque. You can see how the end gasket is sealing completely all the way around. That split that was at the bottom has come together all the way. I just wanted to show you guys a close-up view of what it, it, it will look like after it's installed. The Ultra Sleeve uh, bolt pack comes with two uh, three-quarter inch test plugs. Uh, these can be used to install in the test ports on the top and bottom shell. We would also recommend installing the plug on the bottom shell prior to assembling the whole unit. Um, and a lot of um, installations, uh, you may also want to install a valve on the top to help relieve pressure uh, from the leak. But in the field, you could have a high pressure and having the valve on the top will allow you to relieve the pressure while you're installing it. And then once you're all uh, installed, you can just close off the valve. Make sure you backfill carefully around the fitting to prevent the fitting or coating damage. If the coating becomes damaged at all in any way, uh, all you need to do is just apply some uh, touch-up epoxy spray paint. Just some installation notes. Please refer to the individual product label for actual pressure rating. Um, also refer to the product label for the maximum uh, operating temperature. Uh, the nut size for all of our bolts is an inch and a sixteenth. Um, it's, a, it's a heavy hex nut. This product is to no, not be used with any type of gas or natural gas application. Uh, this product um, it's not a restraining product. If necessary, please make sure that the pipe or the product is restrained uh, whenever necessary in the field. It is recommended that this product only be installed for HDP applications only on DR17 wall thickness or greater. This covers the uh, installation procedure for the ultra sleeve. Um, if you have any further questions, please uh, contact Total Piping Solutions. Thank you very much.